Hi friends, I am Dr. Himanshu Gupta and I am doing radio diagnosis from Malanazad Medical College. I have done my MBBS also from Malanazad Medical College and today in this video we are going to discuss on how to prepare for the next exam in third year MBBS. So let us begin our discussion. Third year MBBS as you know is one of the most vela time or free time in an MBBS student's life. What you do in third year decides what branch you will get in the future, how early you will join a postgraduate course or what your future will be. I have been making strategy videos for NEED PG aspirants and also some of the revision videos and they have been of little help to students. If you are new here do consider subscribing and click the bell icon. The problem with the third year MBBS is that we get a lot of time, a lot of time and we start procrastinating a lot. Leave about the NEET exam, NEET PG exam or NEST exam. We are not even able to prepare for the professional exams also. The advice that I am going to give you today is based on my personal experience. We aim to do too much in third year MBBS and we end up doing nothing. The plan that I am going to tell you today will not only enable you to complete third year and final year subjects but also you will be able to complete them with fun and also have little entertainment in your life. So now what I want from you is that you pause this video and keep a pen and a paper beside you because now we are going to write your future. You must have heard about the six P's proper prior planning prevents poor performance. So now we are starting your planning for the third year and you will do so with me. On this paper, you have to write what an ideal third year student needs to do. First, we will make a master list. We have to do PSM, ENT, OPTHA and the final year subjects of medicine, surgery, PEDS, OPSCINI and short subjects. So you will write these subjects on the piece of paper the things that we have to cover in your third year MBBS. Now if you look at your list it seems that third year is very easy to do but how to manage this final year? Wait! Even completing third year is not as simple as it seems. So the first thing that we will start in the third year is from the third year subjects itself. Now in front of the third year subjects on that paper you will allot the time period the specific month in which you would like to complete those subjects. So you will give one and a half month for PSM and 15 days each for OFTA and ENT. Remember that in this time period you will only be able to complete your one read and make notes out of it. You will have to come back again if you want to learn them properly and reproduce them in the exam. Once this load of third year exams is out of your head, now you can begin thinking about your future. Now you can begin thinking about the final year subjects. So now this is the month of May and if you have already completed one or two subjects of third year, you can plan the remaining third year subjects in the remaining month of May and in the month of June. Students, if there is no mental peace, you won't be able to do anything. So that's why it's very important that we get over these third year subjects. How many of you were planning to do final year subjects before third year subjects and you have failed to even start your preparation for final year? Reply me with a yes in the comment section below. Now coming to final year subjects. My plan for final year is that we will have reasonable targets and we will try to complete those reasonable targets. We will not try to read the whole of final year. The problem with final year is that many students plan to read the whole of final year and even if they manage to do so, they don't remember anything in the beginning of the final year. So we won't do that mistake. Let us now calculate how much time do we have. We are devoting two and a half months in the beginning of the year for third year subjects. Three months we have to devote to third year at the end of the year, which includes the exams also. So we have six months left. We have to cover whatever syllabus we can cover for final year in these six months. Now in these six months, I want you to devote two months each to two major subjects. Now the list in front of you, you will choose at least two subjects. It can be medicine or surgery, medicine or obscenity, medicine or peds, surgery or peds or any two subjects of your choice. And in front of those subjects, you will write the month in which you will plan to do those subjects. So our four months are done and we are left with two months. In these two months, one month you will devote 
two short subjects. You will choose two short subjects of your choice and you will devote 15 days each to those short subjects. After doing this, the remaining one month you will devote to the revision of the subjects that you have done all throughout your year. So that when our final year begins, we will not be the one who doesn't remember anything. For one month will be dedicated only to revision of the things that we have read. So in this way we are not trying to cover anything but what we are doing, we are doing it properly. Friends this was our loss plan. Now we will see what study material do we have to cover. Students are confused how to prepare for this next exam. So my advice to you is that we can't start preparing for any exam until and unless we even know the ABCD of that subject. If you don't even know the ABCD of a subject, how can you even start preparing for the exam? So our target should be that we first develop the basic understanding of a particular subject. That is what we need to do in third year. Not prepare for any exam, but develop a basic understanding of a particular subject. For a particular subject, you will pick up the standard textbook standard textbook for medicine it will be harrison for surgery it will be willie and love and so on you know all the st standard textbooks and from the standard textbooks we will mark 30 chapters sir how to mark those 30 chapters we will not try to complete the whole of harrison or the whole of Bailey love from that Harrison and Bailey Love also we will try to complete the most essential things, the most important 30 chapters. How to mark those 30 chapters? We will pick up notes of any institute or any app. You must be having those notes with you and with the help of those notes, you can mark those 30 chapters and first we will try to complete only those 30 chapters in 60 days. 30 chapters in 60 days. Okay. 30 chapters is something that we can achieve in those 30 days and how you will go about reading a chapter friends I have made a detailed video on how you will go about reading a chapter and you can see the link of that video in the description below friends I will also recommend that whenever you are in doubt you should also go back to your first and second year MBBS subjects too because they form the basis of all the third year and final year subjects now coming to the lectures that you need to attend See friends, the lectures that are available online or offline, both are good. But now you have to decide what yourself. See, if you are a kind of a student who can sit at home and watch lectures continuously for 5 hours, I will advise you that you can go for an online course, Marrow or Papillator or Bhatia. Everything is good. But if you are a kind of a student who cannot sit at home and watch lectures for long hours, many students do this mistake. They buy online courses and they don't even watch a single video from the online course. Then for you, a classroom course would be much better. See, in a classroom course you will be listening to everything, every subject. But now, here I will recommend you that you focus on only those subjects. You attend classes of all the subjects, but you revise only those subjects that you have planned. You try to read the textbooks of only those subjects that you have planned. Okay, and if you have an online course, you watch videos of only those subjects that you have planned because the videos will remain with you in the final year also. So this was all about studying and now coming to the fun part. Friends, we will plan our fun part also. We will keep our Sundays reserved and we will keep two hours reserved daily for extracurricular activities. But keep in mind friends, you can keep these two hours as three hours also. But these three hours will not extend to four hours this third year is very dangerous once we get into this entertainment zone we can get trapped in that entertainment zone and we cannot get out of it so you have to plan your fun part also and you have to consciously do it the extracurricular activities that you can do in your third year are that you can start learning a new game you can start learning guitar you can start going to gym and you can even start looking for your life partner also. Don't get too much absorbed in your entertainment. And also my advice to you as a senior is that don't, don't get into too much drinking or drugs. So friends, if you are studying 4-5 to five hours daily in your third year MBBS, 
you will reach great heights you will reach great heights and if you like this video do give a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below and do subscribe to my channel and also you can look to my recent videos that i made on how to be productive in lockdown and how you can improve your memory thank you